Kingdom, Kynan Duarte, champion of ADCC, not in this division, uh, in the lower weight class this year, fighting in the men's 99 weight class. And his opponent, Owen Lipsy, let me take a look here. He's an invited competitor. I believe he's one of the last minute alternates. Kanan Duarte, one of Atos Jiu Jitsu's elite level black belts. And, and he's, he's, got, he's really well versed in judo, is Owen, and so we'll see. Kanan, I think, might be a good tactic just to get down, create these arm drags. Yeah, beautiful arm drag right up to the top. And around to the corner there he does, cuts. Now he's now it's on all about the top pressure here. He's got a right hand, good position. Owen makes his way back up to the feet now. Kainan Duarte, 2019 ADCC gold medalist. He's got a strong wrestling game. Very well rounded. Yeah, and he used this arm drag last time to come right up. A two on one and drag jump to the side. Could use it to follow his way into the inside under the leg as well. So we'll see. Now he's got that John Wayne to his I was his just going to say, the, <laughs> your favorite half guard suit oh, there, it's so, Sean it's such a good one. It's so easy. It's, it's, so, it's a whole game right there. You know, yep. It's not a hard sweep to do, and it's, there's a, it sets off that underhook right there that he got on the opposite side. So there it is. Look at that. Off balance right to the guillotine. Ankle pick could be there. And that, that's literally like why I love it so much. It's very versatile. It, it, it's not only a sweep. It just gets you into so many good position so many good things can come out of it and it's pretty I mean it's very low risk the front headlock now oh it's got to be careful because Kynan's got a really good front headlock guillotine game yeah disconnecting the action there see Heath Pedigo in the corner of Owen A nice snap down there. That yeah. that that easily could have been followed by a shot. There's a very nice snap down. And still, there's no points, so they may not elect to use a lot of wrestling yet. Just a reminder: this is uh, Kynan's third ADCC, 2017. I believe he was only a purple belt when he competed. Mm. Had some big wins there, but you know, 2019 obviously is when he won the gold medal. So, returning champion in a new weight class, a little lighter, looking equally as jacked. And uh, looking to showcase, I've been hearing some rumors that in the, oh, and Owen with a nice attempt there. Fireman's carry attempt. I was getting flashbacks of Nick Rodriguez and Muhammad yeah. Ali from 2019. And that was a good adjustment there by Duarte, Canning Duarte, because I think that could have easily been a, a very, very big takedown. Kainan Duarte is pacing himself, doing a great job, and, and you know coming forward from the butt scoop position now, opting for closed guard. Now I wonder if he's holding him in closed guard because he wants to attack, or he's waiting for the points to set in, change to a new guard position, and then start opening up here. What do you think, Sean Williams? Yeah, I think he could be right. I mean, he's looked at a clock. I think that's a good place to go. I mean, right now, he could. He's a, you might see him start attacking and bring this right knee through the middle here in front of that bicep because Owen's taking this side angle 
but that can also help uh, Duarte out a lot, actually, with this angle that he's created. But I, I think you're right. He gave a glance at the clock. It's only 10 more seconds before points goes. He's got that overhook now. He can start to push away with, the, with his right hand, bring the right knee inside. There you go. He's going to bring his right knee to get inside the bicep. If you guys are watching at home, don't forget we have the multi mat technology. You can click to watch all three mats at the same time or click on the flow zone to have Kenny Florian kind of uh, present you the action on some of the best matches of the evening. Make your choice, go to the multi mat technology. You can watch one, two, or three matches at the same time or hit the flow zone hosted by Mr. Kenny Florian himself. Back to the action here, four minutes, 23 seconds left. Points are now in effect. Kainan Duarte on the bottom in the close guard. Hasn't really attacked too much from this position. Looking to arm drag to the back there. Yeah, he's using that arm drag and then to that far side underhook. Udugatami position. He might get a sweep. If he can get that a little elbow a little bit higher, he's climbing up. He's climbing up. He can keep the head inside and actually sweep as well. He don't, doesn't have to be a shoulder crunch position. Look at the leg placement yeah. of Kainan Duarte. I'd like to see him figure four that. Yeah. Nice tight figure four. He might be able to come up with underhooks. That's good observation there, Ricardo. Thank you, Sean Williams. Yeah, I was watching our live. I'm watching right here on the bad side. <laughs> I wasn't even watching our, our feed. With the definitely yeah, he, he's playing. Uh, it's an interesting position of his legs. He keeps bringing him down. There it is again. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's got a sweep. He's trying to. I think he's trying to time Owen, trying to proceed forward. Yeah. And then look, now going to a body triangle from the bottom position. Yeah, when the legs get through the guard like that, that is a good time to lock the legs in a body triangle with these double underhooks and literally just creep yourself around to the back. The double underhooks is a really good position there. You can kind of get to the back. It's, oh, nice was, half guard sweep there from yeah. Kainan Duarte. I couldn't see the leg entanglement, but I think it was a coyote guard sweep. Yeah, I think you're right. Got that half guard. Probably torqued the knee out a little bit. Saw the underhook there. Now on top, 2-0, two 2.50 two to go. And, you know, Kainan Duarte, young black belt, but he's got a lot of experience yeah. at the highest level. So similar to Pena, he's up on points, top position. He's going to pace himself. And, you know, if he gets to a, a submission position, look for him to take it. But he probably will just ride the clock out here and get yeah. the victory. A lot of pressure on Owen to escape now. Kinda now up five nothing. Owen gets to his knees, kinda looking to the back. Keeping that head up the middle is in really good position. He can walk right over to the mount. That's what he does. That right underhook could just keep moving up and up and up. He could use this left hand on the on that forearm. It'd be a good idea. And it would just really mash. You could see that now. He's trying to get feed that wrist. That there it is, and he can pry that out. If you ha if you if you use this, it's a good idea to bring the wrist in line with the body. It just collapses your opponent so much easier. Yeah, it, and Kynan's kind of floating on that top right leg there, and you know there it is, right progression the mount there. I was just gonna say, um, you know, he can continue to pressure on top of that leg or progress the mount, which he just did. Racking up more points now up. 8-0 is Kainan kind of Duarte. I don't think I've ever seen him mounted in an ADCC match before. <laughs> a lot of back takes and shootouts, um, but, you know, still dominant nonetheless. Minute and 15 seconds left in this match. Safe to say Kainan kind of Duarte could get the victory. Yeah. Keeping, keeping underhooks is a good idea. So we've got a scorpion here locked down. He can use that left foot. There he is, using that left foot to free the right foot. They really want underhooks when these scenarios happen, just to, just to be safe, especially there's a minute left. If Owen tries to explode and get underneath his legs, he tried. Referee uh, calling Kynan for stalling here, telling him he's got to start working it. And as you say that, Kynan now, Kynan now, trying to progress back to a passing position. So one thing I love about ADCC, these referees don't care who you are. They will call you, they will warn you. They will penalize you. They want action. Yeah. 
20 seconds left in this match. The men's 99 division, Kainan Duarte win, is about to win his first match on route to gold against Owen Livesey. And there it is, Kainan yep. Duarte is victorious. Dominant match, just tactically, technically, very efficient, very effective. Great job, Kainan Duarte, the young black belt from Atos Jiu Jitsu, who obviously is a favorite in this division. And your winner, Kainan Duarte. Don't forget, guys, you can tune in on the other matches or use the multi-mat technology to watch all three mats at the same time.